With South African ties and a love for Kriti, Spiro and Vagelio are now in Rethimno, determined to find a second home investment for their family. Coming back to Rethimno, to Crete, was something that I always wanted to do as a young child. Spiro and Vagelio are looking to capitalize on the current real estate market and buy a second home. We've decided that what we wanted to do is to buy a second home which would be able to be used as a retreat for us as a family as well as hosting our family that comes from South Africa. This house hunting experience will be taking them to Rethimno on the north side of Griti. I think we saw three great houses so I think uh, it's time to conclude on which one we liked most. Welcome to another episode of Hellenic Home Hunting, the exclusive television show dedicated to promoting the beautiful Greek real estate market to the world. In this episode, we will be featuring a young family looking for an investment property in Greece. Spiro, a Greek South African, along with his wife, Vagilia, will be looking for a second home investment on the island of Crete. Hello, my name is Spiro. This is my wife, Vagilia. We have got two wonderful children. Uh, here is Nikos, he's eight years old, and here is Manolis, and he's six years old. I'm originally from South Africa. Originally born in Zimbabwe, Spiro has lived in various parts of Africa growing up, always making the summer trips to Greece for vacation. I'm originated from Crete. I was born in Rethymno. I grew up in Rethymno, and then Spiro came for holidays. We met each other, we fell in love, and then I went to South Africa uh, with him for several years. After living in South Africa for several years, Spiro and Vagilio returned to Kriti to start a family and to start their new travel services business. We specialize of uh, incoming tourism. So it was a nice challenge for us uh, to show the foreigners um, the hospitality and the Greek uh, uh, way of living. Opening a business that is related to travel in Crete was uh, one of the most successful type of businesses to open. Opening a travel agency which does incoming outgoing tourism, which does hospitality, which does um, many activities around tourism, tours etc. Um, enables one to feel confident that yes, you would have a successful business in Red knowing Crete. Being a family with South African and Greek ties, Spiro and Vagelio made the decision to relocate back to Kriti to raise their children there. Being a second generation Greek, my parents made me uh, understand my culture, they made me understand my language. We came back to Greece on holiday many times as a youngster. My father migrated to Africa when he was in the 60s, where he had in his migration there a whole um, necessity to teach us as a family our tradition, our heritage, our food, which was basically what we did here when we had free time. Coming back to Rethymno, to Crete, was something that I always wanted to do as a young child. I was very, really impressed of the way that uh, he saw Greece and especially Crete. Um, he was grown up with uh, the so much love uh, for Greece. Hellenic Home Hunting visited the couple on the stunning island of Kriti, located 400 kilometers from Athens. Vagilio was born and raised in Rethymno, located on the northern part of Greece's largest island. The kids, they really enjoy the happiness and the safety and uh, the weather. We have um, short winters, it's not cold. With a short 35-minute flight from Athens, Kriti has a population of roughly 600,000 people. 
Rich in culture, history, and cuisine, Rethimno is a popular destination for tourists from around the world. In terms of their diet, the Cretan agriculture, the farmers are still producing the um, fruits and vegetables, the basic um, food products naturally. We've got our own uh, oil, we've got our own vegetables that we produce. The island itself um, has access. We have our own ferry company yeah. that takes us to the mainland as well as access to the islands, the famous islands of Sadorini, Mykonos, which uh, depart daily during the summer season. Uh, from the port of Heraklion. Having started a successful family business the last few years, Spiro and Vagilio are looking to capitalize on the current real estate market and buy a second home. We've decided that what we wanted to do is to buy a second home which would be able to be used as a retreat for us as a family as well as hosting our family that comes from South Africa. There is an opportunity for renting our properties in Greece. It is used as an alternative type of tourism. Looking for a second home to relax, entertain and potentially rent to tourists, what is their home wish list? We are looking for a place which has uh, two or three bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms common or a private swimming pool, outside the area, but the kids can play safely. The property price that we were looking was up to 300,000 euros. It's not over 300,000 euros. Looking for the perfect vacation home in Rethimno, this couple reached out to a local real estate agent to guide them on their journey. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet meet you too, finally. Eh? That's good. Morning. How are you? Very well, Fine, and thank you. Thank you. So, After so much communication. Yeah. We finally meet. Huh? That's good. So, how is everything? Very well, thank you. Fine. At least you had your coffee on the table. Yes, yes. You perfect. Originally from Norway, Ellen Hansen now lives in the heart of Rethimno, where she owns and runs one of the most successful real estate and construction agencies for the last 10 years. What is your opinion about the development, the price, um, if they have dropped, if there's been a reduction, is it safe um, as an investment, etc.? I truly understand your question, because you know, by seeing the, the news, and by living in Crete, it's like two different worlds because in many sense, as you know also living in Crete, we are in many ways a country in the country. In the market we are discussing now, who is, you know, the holiday homes, it's such a new market. It's only 13 years since a foreigner could be able to borrow or to be an owner of something in Greece. We felt it two, two and a half years ago. Today, it's back to the business as it was in 2006. The investors uh, that, that we have coming into our country or the volume of investment is it the same as was it was before what is two three years ago what? when this, the economic crisis started we don't the one who buys now have really thought it through and this is the good part of what's happening in the last three years because three years ago we have a lot of clients what we call they are buying on the feelings I like the place I buy a place now you have the one who knows Crete who knows the economic of Crete, who knows the security of buying here, and really have thought it through. Are, we, uh, are the banks lending money? The banks are lending money in the sense that the interest in Greece now is quite high. What is the interest rate the now? The interest now is approximately 9.5%, and you can borrow approximately 65% of the market value yeah, of the, the property, market value of the market value yes ellen has given them some insight into the local property market i'm quite a traveler but i still feel that i haven't seen the island yes you really I, I have never felt an island feeling here this house hunting experience will be taking them to rethimno on the north side of griti to view three homes in the towns known as bihi nea magnesia and panormos let's go Spiro and Vagilio are off to start their hunting experience with Ellen. The team heads through the seaside village of Panormos to get to the first house. The first house is located 15 minutes outside Rethimno and has spectacular sea views. So, welcome to Panormos Seafront Project. 
This is the house I was mentioning for you earlier today where we just get in for sale. Mm -hmm. It's half the parameters what we were discussing. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, private pool, outside kitchen. Yes. Uh, plenty of space for the children to play and to have guests. That's good. The house is actually full furnished, so you can actually move, move right in. Yes. straight in. Straight in. And how much is this one? This house, including all the furniture, as we will see today, is 255,000 euro plus expenses. The three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a size of 127 square meters. This house is a price of 255,000 euros. Are you ready to take yes. a look? Yes, yes. We're looking let's go. Forward. The first house falls within their budget and meets their criteria. So what do they think of it? What do you think? I really Beautiful. liked it. Yeah? Yes. Nice. Yes. It had all the parameters that we were looking for. The view is wonderful. Yeah. We cannot discuss that one. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's perfect. And how did the, you see the house inside? I really like the thing that it's furnished. So we would just move in. I, I like the decoration. The bathrooms were Reasonable size, yeah. that's fine. The bedrooms, three bedrooms. Yeah. I liked um, a lot. I liked the house a lot. The only thing that I'm thinking of is that it's a little bit uh, far away from town. Our walk and it's only that... Well, daily quick access to uh, Ah, home. you would prefer to maybe to have something uh, closer? Li a little closer. Yeah. The rooms are spacious. The ceiling pool for the kids. Yeah. For the children. <laughs> Outside area. I hear that, uh, I've been actually hearing that you are excellent on the food and the barbecue. So. Yes, yes. Spiros, I'm making some of a uh, Greek cuisine. So Spiros is on the barbecue. Yes. And I'm on the traditional Greek uh, food. Yes. Growing up so. in South Africa, one of the things we all learn is how to cook outside the in the barbecue in the wild etc. Helen, what type of um, ownership is in, in this whole area of um, development in terms of nationalities? And more, it's, a, it's a lot of nationalities here actually. You have Norwegian, yes. you have a few German, few English, uh, some G uh, Greek, like you, second generation you have, and Swiss. So it's a nice package oh, yes. of uh, international uh, group here. And um, is there catering for um, maintenance on the homes um, in terms of people doing the garden areas, doing the cleaning, etc.? And how much does that cost? The cost in this project is one euro each square meters house each month. Meaning, easily calculation, a house of 100 square meters, okay. 100 euro a month. And the ownership, is there dual ownership on the land or is it all freehold? How, how has the arrangements been done the, in terms of who? When you are buying a property like this in this project, you will have a freehold property, meaning that the deeds in your name, you have a freehold on the house, on the land is yours. And then you have also a share ownership on the deeds of the common area of the pools and the children area. Ellen has brought the couple to the town of Nam Magnesia to see the plot for a proposed new construction home. On site for the development of an exciting new project, both Spiro and Vagilio need to visualize what Ellen is going to show them. So, now we are on a piece of land in Nam Magnesia, only 10 minutes drive from Retimno, so we are closer. We are only 900 meters down to the beach, but we are so high that you really get the feeling of air, the beautiful view. And here we're gonna build nine separate private houses. Mm -hmm. 
It, each house have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and very minimalistic style. It's a very modern Cretan style on the houses, as you can see. This new construction home will have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a size of 95 square meters for a price of 245,000 euros. All of them will have this panoramic view. We will keep the trees, as you can see here, as much as we can to make the environment and to keep the land as it is. It's an optional to have a private pool or you can also use the common pool, mm -hmm. who will be amazing, as you can see here, with the view and the glasses and the modern, you know, material. Mm -hmm. One of the benefits of buying off-plan mm -hmm. is actually that you can customize the house exactly as you want. How your kitchen, how big is the bedroom is going to be, the bathroom, the styles, the outside area. And we'll really spend time together to customize it into your style. Mm -hmm. We will start building now. In four months from now, we start the construction. So you will be able you know, to follow it in. I have to say, even how much I like the project, next door to this, 50 meters, we have a new resort, meaning that you have restaurant, athletic, spa, all the facilities, the extra facilities you want. To feel comfortable. And are we access to the highway, correct? Yes. Very close to the, us here. The highway the is actually highway. 500 meters from here and you have direct access. So it's so you're very close to town. Exactly. I'm really excited because you've got the view of the ocean, of the mountain, of the traditional villages. So I'm really excited. So I think it's a nice opportunity to think about this option. The only thing for me and I think also for Spiros is that I can't imagine the result of what you say now. It's a little bit difficult for me. I don't know if you agree about that. Yes, it's, um, to, everything is fantastic, the site. It's just that um, the, to visualize how the end result would be um, once we've constructed and um, where everything would be mm -hmm. in place. The advantage is that uh, uh, we can fix it as we want. With Ellen's proven track record of building homes in Kriti, is this something that Spiro and Vagilio feel confident in doing? Ellen took the couple down the street to show them the luxurious new resort and spa that sits a few hundred meters from the second house. With a quick ride down the road, the team arrives to the third home. Further away from the beach in the town of Bigi, the third home has great features to impress the couple. So, now we are in the village of Pigi, 10 kilometers away from Retimno. Mm -hmm. This project has amazing common area with Buga Villas, three green grass, amazing place for the children to play, huge swimming pool. But most of all, these apartments have three bedrooms as you request, one bathroom, but amazing terraces, huge terraces, where it's really room to invite family and friends for dinner. So Helen, the price of this plot? Uh, this house has a cost of 239,000 euro, plus expensive, but the furniture and the everything as you will see the house today is including in the price. With three bedrooms, one bathroom and a size of 89 square meters, this house has a price of 239,000 euros. Let's go. Yes.
How will Speedo and Vagilio react to this impressive house with a large community pool area? So, you have oh. seen the house. Yes. Or, I have to say apartment, because it's like apartment in many ways. How do you see it? Fantastic landscape, beautiful home, big terraces. Outside place for the kids. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Safe. It's, it's only missing a second toilet, bathroom. Yeah. I cannot make a comment on that, can I? Because I, it is three bedrooms with one bathroom. Yes. You're right on that. Yes, it's the, beautiful and the swimming pool size is um, huge. The children will enjoy themselves and the landscape is excellent and they enjoy playing the outdoor sports, etc. What I didn't mention for you actually is that next to the pool down here you have a big barbecue outside. Again with the barbecue yes, and the food. Which uh, really gives room to invite a lot of people. And there they really have a meeting point. Yeah. With a price of 239,000 euro for a property like this, which is gorgeous. Um, what is your, what estimate can you give us as a return on this investment if we were to go for renting it as well, which is what our idea is on our investment, renting it to people? Actually, when you, when we, to answer a question like this, on this house, specific house, it's very easy for me to answer because this we actually have been renting out for the one who is selling it now. For the high season, they have 900 euro each week for this house. In the low season, they have 750 euro each week. So with this kind of numbers, it's easy to understand that you can have a very, very good income on this one. Will the rental income potential be enough to make them select this house? Spiro and Vagilio are impressed with what they have seen. Now they need to sit down with their professional agent to recap before they make their decision. Ellen took the home hunters to an authentic Cretan restaurant in the heart of Rethimno to address their questions. It was like a sightseeing today. Yes. Seeing the seaside, seeing the olive side, seeing the villages. Yes. And we've been in two areas that uh, we've never been before. It was a combination. Yeah. Mountain, sea, village. We've, um, we just need to be briefed a little bit more on um, the process to buy an off-plan property as we are already aware of buying an existing property in Greece. I understand. What's happening is that for the, from the moment you decide that you want to buy one of these private villas in this project, mm -hmm. we, uh, are, you are then, we are then taking over the ownership of this plot where your house is going to be over in your name. That means that you are the owner of the property from day one. So whatever happened on that land, it's actually yours because the property is, is a freehold property, yours. So you will pay then in stages when the job is done. Mm -hmm. In that sense, in your case, you are actually here. If not, we are giving a report every two weeks. But you will have your ownership of your land, you will follow up the construction, what we are doing, and when the job is fulfilled, then you are doing the next payment. And like that, we will do the stages in four stages until the house is finished. My wife and I have experience purchasing a property previously. Um, what we did have with that previous property, our own property, was some um, charges that were on the initial price, which um, at the end of the day we paid a little bit more. Some additional fees. Fees, etc. In your property, um, you've mentioned that all of these fees are included in the price. What, what are the fees for? And I will explain, it's a very yes, good please. question what you are asking. Uh, when we are looking at Panorama Seafront, who is finished built, and then you are paying the transaction taxes to the Greek government. You pay notarial fee, lawyer fee, the legal bar, and the, the agent fee. Together, as a tom rule, let's say, is saying, is between 10 to 13 percent of the market price. Actually, if we're going into the details, it's actually 8 percent of the first 20,000 of the transaction value, and after that, it's 10 percent of the transaction value, meaning the notarial contract value. When I was saying in Ionia that all the expenses are included, is because in that case, you are not paying the VIT to the Greek government because the building is not built yet. The materials is still not bought. 
So by buying off plan, you actually are saving between 30 and 35,000 euro in taxes because you are paying all your taxes to the Greek government based on the value of the property, on the lands, when we are giving over the deeds in your name. Then, we as the constructor, we are paying then the VAT to the Greek government. With more than 400 homes built today in Crete, Ellen has the experience to guarantee successful results. It was really nice to meet you. You were, uh, were a great help. You gave us so many opportunities and so many things to sit and decide with Spiros and our family. So we would like to thank you for your great help. My pleasure. Thank you. Ellen's expertise and market knowledge has helped Spiro and Vagelia answer their property-related questions. With South African ties and a love for Kriti, Spiro and Vagelia are now in Rethimno, determined to find a second home investment for their family. Coming back to Rethimno, to Crete, was something that I always wanted to do as a young child. Eager to make their decision, the family gathers in the old port of Rethimno. I think we saw three great houses, so I think uh, it's time to conclude on which one we liked most. The first home has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a price of 255,000 euros. I really like the thing that it's furnished, so we would just move in. I, I like the decoration. While they love the fully furnished home with the pool and sea view, they feel like it may be too far from Rethimno. The only thing that I'm thinking of is that it's a little bit uh, far away from town. The second home will have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a price of 245,000 euros. I'm really excited, so I think it's a nice opportunity to think about this option. Not being able to see the end result is making it challenging for them to visualize the home. I can't imagine the result of what you say now. The third home has three bedrooms, one bathroom, and a price of 239,000 euros. Fantastic landscape, beautiful home, big terraces. A side place for the kids. While the pool area and large terraces are a plus, having only one bathroom is a negative. It's only missing a second toilet, bathroom. I think the um, apartment at the mountain, mountain resort here. is not what, what? we want. It has one lesser toilet and all of us will be a bit difficult to function inside that area. I think so. But out of, out of the properties it has got a big garden but I'm sure that children will adapt to any size garden as long mm -hmm. as there's a swimming pool. Yes, I think the one bathroom was a disadvantage of that uh, place so I think we should take it out of our plan. Now that they eliminated the Mountain View apartment, they have two homes to decide from. I think that uh, what we should do is um, we opt to go for the new construction because with um, our characters and the way that we are, we can communicate and uh, give our personal touch to the home and make it uh, as much as possible um, what we like. As, as we know, Creta Eyedom and the way that they are cooperating with us, I think that um, they are in a position to assist us and with their professional help and our ideas, I'm sure we will achieve the product that we wanted. At the end of the day, it, uh, it's, it's much nicer, it's a new property, okay. it's off plan. Um, we'll be in a position to choose the better located house. It's important as well is that the secure factors that by giving a deposit they've already transferred the plot into oh, our no. name. Yes, yes. So it's very important. it is good that um, it, they show that there um, is no risk involved and uh, we pay after the construction is done. Yes, and it's, obviously it's we're a in a secure. better position to secure and at the end of the day um, pay it in phases over after, whatever period. After the project is finished. So I'm really excited of our choice and I think it will be a nice plan and nice to wait our second house to come and be completed so we can use it with our kids. So I think we made the right choice. And we contact her and uh, my darling, we have a drink on this. See ya. Yes, I love you too. Kiss Kiala.
It's official. Spiro and Vagilio selected the new construction home located in Nam Magnesia, which features sea views, modern finishes, a great common area pool, and a price below their budget. Hellenic home hunting was a positive experience for this couple. Join us next time for another Greek home hunting adventure.